Donald Trump joins us by phone. Mr. Trump, thank you for joining us this thank morning. You. What do you think of that directive from the administration on transgender rights? Well, I believe it should be states' rights, and I think the states should make the decision. Uh, they're more capable of making the decision. I felt that from the beginning. So you're against this administration's directive? I just think it should be states' rights. I think many, many things actually should be states' rights, but this is a perfect example of it. Let's talk about that meeting you had with Speaker Ryan yesterday. A lot of positive signs coming out of that meeting. Also, some reports that many senators in your meeting with the Republican senators suggested you tone down your message on immigration. Are you going to do that? I don't think I toned it down. I want to have strong immigration. I want to have strong borders. Some people agree with me and some people don't. But for the most part, they agree. We have to have strong borders or we don't have a country. So, no, I don't think I toned it down. I just got uh, 16,500 uh, Border Patrol people just endorsed me. First time they've ever done that in the history of the Border Patrol. And, uh, you know, I don't think I've toned it down. I think we want to have strong borders. But I certainly am willing to listen to people if they have ideas. But I feel we either have a country or we don't. So you're not going to modify your positions to get their support. They're going to have to come to you? No, I don't think that. I think there are certain things that we can talk about. I'm not totally inflexible on anything. But I feel when it comes to the borders, we have to have strong borders. Absolutely. Let's talk about your tax return. Under new pressure from the Clinton campaign, Secretary Clinton talking about that the last couple of days. I just have a bottom line question for you. Yes or no, do you believe voters have a right to see your tax returns before they make a final decision? I don't think they do, but I, I do say this. Uh, I will really gladly give them. They're not going to learn anything, but it's under routine audit. When the audit ends, I'm going to present them. That should be before the election. I hope it's before the election. But when the audit ends, I've had even journalists say that, no, nobody should give until audits are over. I've had journalists say that. So I think uh, there's no uh, – I, I sort of have to laugh when Clinton says it. Mrs. Clinton said that uh, I should give my tax returns. What about all the missing emails that she's got? When is she going to give the missing emails or her Goldman Sachs speeches? When is she going to give that? Very, very great hypocrite. But – uh, as far as I'm concerned, I want to give it as soon as possible. As soon as the audit ends, I'll give it. I've been under audit. Every it, year they audit me. I have wealthy friends that never get audited. I get audited every single but as year. You know, as you know, Mr. Trump, the, the audit is, is no excuse. The IRS has made it very clear that an audit is not a bar to public release. It is entirely your choice. President Nixon, Richard Nixon, released his tax returns even though he was under audit. And when you were seeking a casino license in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, you released the returns to the state officials even though you were under audit. Uh, I so, am under audit now, and as soon as the audit ends, I'll release my returns. It's a very simple thing. But, sir, if, you if, look at, if you look at many others, many others feel the same way. And almost every lawyer will tell you the same thing. When you're under audit, you finish the audit before you release. Mm -hmm. I have no problem. And it should be, and I hope it's before the election. But, sir, if you were willing to and release... And by the way, people are going to learn nothing. You know, I put in financials, 100 pages worth of financials, that show that I built a company that's worth more than $10 billion. It shows cash. It shows cash flows. It shows everything. You learn very little from tax returns. But nevertheless, when the audit is complete, I will release. I have no problem with it. A couple of follow-ups to that, though. If you were willing to release your tax returns to get a casino license, why shouldn't voters see them before they make you commander-in-chief? Well, because at the time it didn't make any difference to me. Now it does. If you take a look at the picture that uh, we sent you where the tax returns are probably 10 feet high when you stack them on top and linked and very complex. I built a massive business and I want to make sure that everything's perfect. It's a routine audit. I want to get through the audit first and that's what I'll do. There have been many presidents that have not shown their tax returns. Uh, actually, every single nominee since 1976 has released right. their tax but before returns. Before 1976, most people didn't do it. I mean, it used to be a secret thing. I don't want it to be secret, but I do want the audit to get finished. Bef before that, Richard Nixon released his returns, as I said, even though they were under oath. But to get to your point, on the one hand, you show that stack of tax returns. On the other hand, you say that people can't learn anything from them. They can actually learn quite a lot. They can learn your sources of income. They can learn whether you have any foreign sources of income or whether you have any Swiss bank accounts or other offshore accounts. Do you? I'll tell you right now, I do not. And I don't have Swiss bank accounts. I don't have offshore uh, I really have a very, very clean company, and believe me, if I didn't, it would have been reported by uh, 200 groups, because there's nobody that has more reporting or more scrutiny than I have. Uh, I've given my financials, they're extraordinary, uh, the, and we would have read if they weren't, but believe me, when I released my financials, George, and we sent them down to federal elections, uh, there was a feeding frenzy by the media. 
and they reported, wow, that is a great company. And I have built a great, great company. And by the way, when you look at numbers, when you look at incomes, when you look at all of the things or most of the things that you talked about, that's reported on the financials. It's not reported on the financials. What the financials don't show also is your tax rate. They don't show whether you paid a low tax oh, well, rate I or no tax rate. It's very hard rates. to pay as little tax as possible. And I've, I've said that for the last two years. I fight very hard because this country wastes our money. They take our tax money and they throw it down the drain. They spend four trillion dollars in the Middle East and we can't fix a road or a bridge. And I fight very hard. I consider it an expense because frankly our country doesn't know what they're doing with our money or our tax money and that's part of the problem. So I fight very hard to pay as little tax as possible. What is your tax rate? Uh, it's none of your business. You'll see it when I release. But I fight very hard to pay as little tax as possible. You know, we've talked about this several times over the last several years. I first asked you about this in 2011, and you said you would release your tax returns then. You were thinking of running for president when President Obama releases his birth certificate. He did. Then you said you would release your tax returns when Secretary Clinton released her email. She has turned over all the emails in her possession. She didn't turn over all. There's plenty missing. I read yesterday where there are a lot of emails missing. Don't I know she's a good friend of yours, and I know you worked for him, and you didn't uh, reveal it. But, uh, you know, she did not turn over her emails. There are a lot of emails missing. There were emails from her staffers missing. She turned there over the emails, emails she has. There are emails missing all over the place. The, the whole thing is a scam. There are emails missing all over the place. But you have also said then that you were just going through all of the returns and you released them as soon as you went through them. Now you're throwing up the audit. There were so I never you... said that at all. I said to you that I will release them upon the completion of the audit like anybody else. Uh, I was interviewed last night or the other night by Greta Van Susteren, who's a lawyer. She said, I happen to agree with you. Until the audit is complete, you shouldn't release them. Mr. Trump, thanks very much for your uh, time. Thank this you morning. very much.